Hi, let's write some code that will add some graphics to our canvas. We'll create a function that adds a circle to the canvas and another function that adds a rectangle to the canvas. Let's start by defining our circle function. We'll first write the function keyword and then name it draw circle. Inside of the function, we'll write the code that's needed to create a circle and we'll also add some comments along the way to help us keep track of what we're doing. We first need to create a new graphic circle. To do that, we'll need to store the circle in a variable so that we can refer back to it later. We then need to use the new keyword and then the circle constructor, which needs a capital C and then some parentheses. Inside of the parentheses is where we write the dimensions of our shape. For a circle, all we need to write is a radius. We'll give our circle a radius of 100. Next, we'll set the position of our circle's anchor. To do that, we'll need to use the set position command. We'll first write the variable name, dot set position with a capital P. We'll then add some parentheses, and inside of the parentheses is where we'll write the x and y coordinates of our object. We first need to write our x coordinate, which controls the horizontal position of our object. Let's set x to 100. Next, we need to write a comma, and then our y coordinate, which controls the vertical position of our object. Let's set y to 300. The last customization we'll make to our object is setting its color. We'll be using the set color command to make our circle purple. Let's start by writing our variable name again, followed by a dot, and then set color with a capital C, followed by some parentheses. Between the parentheses for set color, we need to write a string with the name of a color. We'll write purple for this example. We'll first need to write some quotation marks and then purple. And with that, we finished customizing our circle. Let's now call our draw circle function in the main function. We'll also need to call our main function at the bottom of our program. Let's now run our code and see what happens. Notice that nothing is being drawn on the canvas. That's because although we created a circle object, we didn't actually add it to the canvas. To do that, we need to use the add command. Let's write the remaining code in our draw circle function. To use the add command, we need to write the word add and then some parentheses. Inside of the parentheses, we'll write the name of our variable circle. Let's rerun our code and see what happens. Great, this time we actually get to see our circle. And another feature that is available for graphics objects is debug mode. Debug mode helps you better position your graphics by showing you where their anchor points are located. The anchor point of an object is what is being controlled by the x and y coordinates that you set. Let's turn debug mode on for our circle so we can see its anchor point. We first need to write the variable name, and then a dot, and then debug. And in order to turn debug mode on, we need to set it to true. Now if we hit run again, we should see the anchor point of the circle. As you can see, the anchor point of our circle is at its center, and each graphic object has a slightly different location of where its anchor point is positioned. Let's now create a function that'll draw a rectangle. We'll be creating another variable, but this time we'll be using the rectangle constructor. So we name our variable rec, we use the new keyword, and then the rectangle constructor requires a capital R, some parentheses, and two values within the parentheses. The first value will be the width of the rectangle, and let's give it a width of 300. The second value is the height of the rectangle. Let's give our rectangle a height of 30. Once we create our rectangle, we can set its position in the same way we did for our circle by using set position. Let's position our rectangle at coordinates 50 and 100. Next, we can also set the color of our rectangle by using the set color command and passing in a color name string. Let's make our rectangle blue. Now one last thing before we add our rectangle to the canvas, let's turn on the debug mode so we can see the anchor point of a rectangle. To turn on debug mode, we need to refer to the variable rec and set it equal to true. Okay, let's now add our rectangle to the canvas and run our code. 
But before we hit run, we want to make sure we call our draw rectangle function inside of our main function. Okay, now we're ready to run our code. Great, now we have a circle and a rectangle drawn on the canvas. Notice how the anchor point of the rectangle is located at the top left of the object, not at its center. The debug mode helps us see these anchor points so that we can better position our objects. And now it's your turn to have fun and write some code.